Hi Virgos, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be doing your reading for the new moon in Aries. I want to see how the new moon in Aries is going to be affecting your sign. So this new moon is important. It's coming on the 5th of the month of April. Um, we are transitioning from the Pisces season to the Aries season. So from the last sign of the zodiac to the first, meaning that there is a new chapter that's been born, a new beginning, a new transition into a clean slate that can work wonders for us. It is a very passionate and fiery new beginning because Aries is a fire sign, one that is very based on action, inspiration, motivation, and the concept of self. So it's important for us to be aware of these energies. New moons are usually a gateway for our intentions to be planted as seeds and the darkness of the new moon to kind of like fertilize this new intentions that we're setting in place for them to grow like seeds into the flowers or plants that we want to see manifested in the future. I'm going to be doing a complete video on this new moon further ahead um, and I'm also going to be doing in that video a ritual that we can do together for, for us to maximize that energy and take advantage of it. But in the meantime, I just want to see how you guys are going to be feeling these days with the new moon because it will affect every sign differently. So let's see, Virgos. Let's see what's up. This is the Dreaming Way Tarot, by the way, in case you are wondering the name of the cards. And we have the Love Your Inner Goddess Oracle cards from by Alana Fairchild as well. I don't do reversals. As I go ahead and, you know, shuffle the cards and set this whole reading, organize the whole reading, I would love to also remind you that my Abundance Blueprint course is available on sale. So if you're feeling like you're blocked financially, if you, like, uh, if you would like a financial boost, if you would like to understand how energy work and magic can help you with money, just make sure to check that out and see if it resonates for you. I have created this video with so much love. It's a 20 video course on my website. And it's only $49.99 this month of April. So if you feel like you could benefit from that, check it out. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Virgo. So you have your card here. You might be feeling very much connected to an inner spiritual search of sorts. You might be feeling like you want to... Um, maybe be kind of private on this new moon, be alone, rest, connect to your intuition, maybe meditate, tap into that inner wisdom of yours, allow the universe to be your teacher through direct experience, through meditation of your own understanding. There is a possibility that this new moon might make you feel kind of like suspended in a limbo state in which you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, what you are supposed to be avoiding. It's kind of like you are just floating, like this girl is floating upside down, not floating, but she's like hanging. It's like you're not really, you're being suspended, I feel like you're just suspended in time and space and you're okay with that and it feels fine and you don't have to have all the answers just yet you're just kind of seeing th seeing how things unfold you're allowing for things that don't longer serve you to just be removed by the universe from your life without any kind of resistance it feels like you are defending certain points of view that are important for you but you're walking away from those points of view that don't deserve your attention or don't deserve you fighting for them it's like you don't care about much this week i feel like you're just focused on the connections that are working in your life the joy in your heart and that connection to spirit it seems like um through this new moon you might be receiving new abundance new opportunities for abundance the universe might be giving you gifts in the form of financial um either opportunities or money. It seems like you're walking away from something for you to access this new thing. 
And it's okay. It's like, I feel like you guys are letting go of things that you know have served their purpose. It's not like you're letting go of things that you actually want to have or keep. You're just letting go from all the excess, you know, all the things that are just there because you haven't moved on yet, but you should be moving on. You're going to be feeling content, emotionally connected to certain people, not to everybody, but to certain people who can meet you there in that sacred space in which you connect to spirit. You're going to be feeling very aligned with those who understand your soul and the connection that you need to have in spirit for, in order to, for you to be well. But you're going to also realize that it's not worth it to fight the people who don't understand you. It's not worth it. It's just a matter of moving on to connect to people who, who do understand you, basically. I'm going to be reading these messages from the Inner Goddess deck. So the first message we have is called Black Diamond. True love is eternal. And the message is the following. You have a spiritual journey to take in this lifetime. It is not always easy to take this path. However, you are a wisdom bearer. You are one of the precious ones who is not destroyed by dark experiences in life, but is rather able to find wisdom and empowerment through overcoming them. You've done it before and you will do it again now. As your soul becomes powerful through the pressure she has survived, you will be able to rise to even greater challenges, but they will feel easier for you than before. You are unstoppable. You have every right to feel bold and joyful about what life holds for you next. Black Diamond is the bearer of a powerful spiritual mojo. <laughs> she shines with dark beauty through the soul that has been able to withstand great intensity and remain intact. With the power to defend you against jealousy, ill-wishing, and curses, Black Diamond gives you the power to face your fears. Your soul has been working with Black Diamond, transforming your attitude towards fear, learning how to feel it without being overcome by it. Black Diamond is only available to the old soul who is ready for it. It takes many lifetimes to be able to confront fear. You have to develop unconditional spiritual trust to do this. Only then, can you go through the darkness of the unknown and face your fears willingly, with absolute certainty, certainty that you will learn something of value to your soul, and knowing that you will find your way out into the light once more. You are strong enough to experience the darkness within you and in the world around you without breaking your trust in spirit. Your soul knows that, even when we cannot see how, all things ultimately work for good. Black Diamond reminds you that you are an ancient and wise soul, with the power to create love even out of darkness. You are made strong through every experience. The things that once would have caused you pressure will actually become so much easier for you to handle. You are ready for an empowered, beautiful, and precious life journey ahead. Yay. Okay, so that's awesome. <laughs> you can listen to this reading many times if you want to really like integrate the message. I know that it's, it's a message that has a lot of information. Each of these cards do. So we're going to be moving on to this second message, the Magdalene. And the message on the card is, you are stronger than you think. You can experience a feeling of being completely reborn in this new moon, like a mythical phoenix rising from the ashes of what once was, the past completely burned away. It is not about forgetting the past, but it is the reality that the past doesn't have any hold over you anymore. You are being given a spiritual blessing from deep within your heart to cast off anything and everything without exception from the past that does not bring you peace. The universe wants to take it from you, so let it go. Here we have the Ace of Cups, which is very aligned with that message. There is, an, there is now a brand new you, clean, fresh, and ready to start again with the protective grace of the divine all around you and within you, shining bright, and true ah, it's good you guys it's good virgos let go of everything that has served its purpose and allow yourself to feel in this energy of limbo a little bit if it's necessary you are headed towards the space and place that you need to be connect to spirit in order to feel that support and enjoy this new moon. I hope you enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I'm going to be leaving below all my information. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you can receive notification about the other videos and rituals and things that I'm going to be posting. 
Um, I'm gonna leave donation links below as well in case you ever feel like supporting this channel that way. And I'm gonna leave the information for the Abundance Blueprint course that is on sale this month. Make sure to take advantage of that if you're feeling financial blockages or feeling like um, you could benefit from a financial boost. Sending so much love your way, you guys. Bye.